Well, quite a bit of reaction going on right now on social media regarding Dr. Harry Hall, who died suddenly last week. And a lot of this engagement, too, is coming from her husband, Kirk. What is it all about? We'll get into all these details in just a second. But first, guys, if you could, if YT lets you, try and hit the like button for me. Very important also, please share the video. Help us get around those algorithms. Hit the bell, subscribe. Or the glasses because I'm blind. And I remind you guys, help me out here with my goal for the month of January, trying to get five new patrons to sign up and bless our ministry for five bucks a month at patreon.com slash conservative truth. We did not hit our goal for December, so we're really hoping with your help we can make it happen here in January. We got three signups so far, looking for two more. Plus, when you sign up, you will be alerted for all my content. This is very important because if you only watch my videos through YT alerts, trust me, you're missing a lot. They're not gonna send you all the alerts. So go to Patreon for that, but also there, you can leave your comments on these videos completely censorship free. No worry about YT blocking or removing what you guys are saying. Come to Patreon. We could have a nice free flowing discussion on these topics with no interference, no nonsense, no trolls. You guys could send me direct messages as well. So check it out. Patreon.com slash conservative truth. Big thank you to everybody already contributing and those thinking of doing so. Thank you as well. Your generosity is greatly appreciated. So Dr. Harriet Hall, this is somebody again, she she ran her own blog, Science Medicine Blog. She is somebody that was really, you know, against any sort of alternative medicine. She was very pro on the side of the pinchy and very critical for anybody who opposed the pinchy. And so on Thursday, January 12th, Harriet's husband, Kirk, took to social media, in fact, onto Facebook uh, on his wife's own page. And he had made the announcement that Harriet had died suddenly in her sleep the night before. Uh, Harriet was is over the age of 65 at the time the report came out. The exact age was not yet released. But again, this is somebody who, you know, was very pro pinchy from the beginning, would write several things on this in her blog. But let's go back to April. Uh, actually, back to 2021, rather. Uh, she did admit, and this was in a, in a social media post, she got her third dose of the pinchy along with her husband, Kirk, who... Uh, they had said that you can go to Safeway grocery store, you can get your pinchy and, and, you know, not a problem. It's fast. It's easy. You know, when asked the question to anybody, you know, if they should get the booster, she said 100% yes, but would battle with people who were against the pinchy. And look, we've often seen this to where, you know, if you don't believe in the pinchy, you are harshly criticized for it. And that is what many people said when they had interaction here with Harriet Hall. Now, on the other side of this, because not just her husband, Kirk, but many others too in the science world, because this is something that Kirk said in his own post was that, you know, Harriet would want everybody to be nice to each other during this time, say a kind word to each other, you know, and also help to promote Harriet's truth. And again, this was in the pinchy among many other things. But many are saying that that was not, in fact, the way that Harriet would conduct herself when engaging with people, that she didn't use kind words with, you know, describing those who didn't agree with her as far as, you know, where she lied on, you know, her side of the medical, uh, you know, field as it relates to the pinchy and the whole cuckoo deal. So conflicting there. But I also want to mention this because I believe it's important. I also want to stress that you know, I will never come on here and say 100% whether or not I, you know, I'm going to give you a cause of someone's death because I just don't know. And I'm not going to uh, attack her husband, Kirk, nothing like that at all. I'm just simply reporting. I, I don't believe that, you know, despite what others may say, don't be, you know, beaten up on people. Um, I don't think that's as Christians what we should be doing. But Kirk did say this because he was very upset that people were saying that the reason that his wife passed away was because of the pinchy. Very upset about that, as well as all those who, you know, help Harriet run the blog and the newsletter that she was a part of. But Kirk said this, that Harriet's health was actually failing for quite some time. He said this goes back years. In fact, Harriet was not able to really leave the house, the house much over the course of the past couple of years, other than to, you know, go to doctor's appointments. And he even admitted that Harriet had issues with her heart and that she was being treated for several different things. But people still saying that this is tied into the pinchy, that that, you know, could have potentially elevated her heart problems and made this whole thing even worse. So 
the, the back and forth is continuing and it's getting uh, it's getting pretty bad. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll put a link in the description. You can check out some of the things that some are saying right now. Look, either way, no matter what the actual cause of uh, Harriet's death is, it's, it's always sad to lose someone. And I don't think people should be demonizing each other really, you know, on, on either side. I have my views on the pinchy. I, I'm strongly against it. You know, and I don't appreciate when people beat up on me, you know, for saying that I don't be, you know, believe in it or, or whatever. And I don't, it's not something that I want. Oh, and, and the same thing, you know, um, but look, these things are going to happen. Uh, we just know it. People are, you know, if, if they want to take it, then they take it and they deal with the risk. And that's, uh, unfortunately, we have seen many who have in fact regretted uh, that same decision. Uh, but, you know, others are chiming in with tributes to Harriet and, and, and thanking her for being someone who stood for, for science and, and, and skepticism and even, even atheism as well, uh, which, you know, that, you know, unfortunately, if you're someone that leans that way, well, uh, well where you spend eternity is um, maybe not somewhere that you would have uh, wanted after it's all said and done. Uh, they put out their own posts as well as far as different atheist groups go. Uh, look, I, I am no supporter of atheism, skepticism. I am a firm supporter of Jesus Christ and our one true living God. You know, what I want to do right now, though, is I want to end this video here on hope, which is something I do as part of my ministry outreach here, you know, because I you never know who's going to tune into your video. And there's people out there that are hurting, that they're looking for something to fill the emptiness inside of them. Um, trust me, the only thing that you want to do is you want to fill that uh, with that brokenness with Jesus Christ. And so if you're watching this video right now and you're someone that has not yet accepted Christ as your Lord and Savior, I want to lead you in a prayer to do that right now. This is a prayer you could do in your own words, but I will give you the steps that you need to bring it before the Lord today. The first thing that you want to do right off the top, acknowledge that you are a sinner. That is something that we all are. The good news is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world as he died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. Now what you have to do is repent of your sin. And repent means to turn from your sin, not just to say you're sorry and then jump back into your old ways, but to turn from sin, which are those lifestyles, habits, patterns, behaviors, the things in your life that go against the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord though and ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe your sin away. And the Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then, you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. I will have more on this down below. You guys can let me know your thoughts. Don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. You go to patreon.com slash conservative truth sign up for five bucks a month help us with our goal for the month of january trying to get five new patrons remember we got three so far looking for two more it is a great blessing when you can help us out thank you all so much for watching i really do appreciate it i'll be back with more you guys take care please be safe out there god bless each and every single one of you and i'll talk with you soon